Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, today is uh, another first video, surprisingly. Yeah, but today's a special fish video because I have a pregnant fish and I, I don't want, if you didn't know, when fish have babies, they'll eat the babies or the other fish in the tank will eat the babies. So I gotta move her. Uh, well, I don't know where she's at. Where is she? Right there. I gotta move her from that tank to this tank right here. Because then she will have space and she won't be as stressed out from the other fish. Because they get stressed when they're pregnant, so they have to swim away from stuff from the other fish, which. Surprisingly, she's not doing, but I'm gonna feed her real fast. What I just kind of did is just put a little in. Right. Um, so yeah, she is right there. The, where is she? I can't, this is hard. So, right there, the big black one. And I gotta move her from this one, this one. And what I like about all my tanks is I always have every one of my tanks the same exact temperature so that I do not need acclimating. So when something like this happens, I can just move the fish like and everything. Except this is a little cold, so I don't know what to do. I'm gonna put her in there and I'm gonna put some of the stress coat in. The stress coat should help her. It's, I, I don't know, it's just help for, for the fish. And I'm gonna do that when I put her in there. Cause if you don't know, I use that for a quarantine tank. tank. So when my fish got sick, I put them in there and a lot of them, a lot of them sadly passed. So I'm gonna put some of that in there. So hopefully, any disease or whatever that was in there is out. I already had some in there, so I'm sure it will be good, but just precautions. I'm putting it in there, but let's go ahead and move her so she can have her babies and everything in this tank. And then you'll see that. All right, guys, one last thing. So I just, I put that stuff in the tank so all the disease should be gone and everything but i also put this the baby net thing that i got i put that in there so when she does have her babies if i see them i can just scoop them up real fast put them in there and everything so even she won't eat her babies because sadly they do that and everything so hopefully i can put them in there i got some plants and I can put a little food in there when they're in there so that they eat and they're not stressed out and everything. But, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and put her it's in there. It's finally time to move the pregnant fish, you can see her from all the way up here, how big she is, into this thing. So I got GoPro recording angle just to look nice and stuff. Now we gotta get the net. Yeah, I'm gonna use the small net. And, and so, four. And I think I'm actually gonna put this in. This, it doesn't really match the thing. But I don't really care if it looks nice or anything. I just wanna put it in here so that it gives the baby's more places to hide. Because the more hiding places, the better. So actually that's not the best, but I mean, not a lot of places to tank to put up. So I guess that works. And now, finally. So I lift up the lid, all the fish are probably like, What's going on? So I can see here. Oh, they see the net. Oh, I'm gonna try to 
But now, where's she at? We gotta find her. See, you can tell she's pregnant because look how fast she is moving. Okay, um, I didn't see. I got her in the net. Time to move her over. And, okay, there she is. Yeah, she's in the net, they don't. I don't get it. Every time you get the net, they never want to go in. And then they never want to go out once you have them. So, I got her in there. I didn't see. God, I need to clean up algae in this tank. Don't really do that because I never use it. But, she was right there next to the GoPro. Just chilling. And, I kind of want to put in some food. Just to see if she eats. Go ahead, shut this from this tank. With this hand. I'm gonna open myself. Put a little pinch of it. Can you These are just a tiny bit all of a sudden. But I don't know if this fish was one of the fish I got I've had and just got pregnant. I actually think she's one of the fish I recently got from Petsmart. Just because I don't remember seeing her. She's going to be very stressed in this tank right now just because new environment, she's pregnant, and it can be scary sometimes. But I think she'll do alright in this tank. Right now she's just hiding. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna let the GoPro film. Cause I don't wanna be reaching in there while she's getting used to this tank and everything. Cause I don't, I really don't wanna stress her out. Oh, uh, cause like, look at her. She's pretty, but the one thing I'm kinda mad about is, as you can see, I have that black molly, but I have a lot of black molly everywhere. Which, I wanted this tank to be really colorful. So, I'm really hoping she, the one in that tank, actually made it with one of these colorful fish and everything. Just because, um, it's gonna look cool. She could have, to look really different. Like, maybe they'll have the black tail like that. Or, like, just have something like that fish this and just, have black on them with color, which would look cool and everything, but, and everything, but like, I'm really hoping she's not just black, because otherwise, I don't really know what I'm gonna do, because I wanted this tank to be colorful, and it's colorful, but there's so many black models, I don't really like it. So, let's just hope this pretty baby has made it with a colorful fish, which I'll do an update with this fish, but I don't know when that's gonna happen just because mollies can take like six weeks once they get pregnant to have their fish and everything, but um, they uh, can take up to six weeks. But I think she's been pregnant for a while just based on her size. I can get a look of her. Yeah, look at that. You can see how much the belly drops down. Look. Huh? I go right there. You can see how much it drops down. So I think she's been pregnant for a while. So I think I got her from PetSmart recently. Yeah. And those had a lot of a lot of colorful fish. It had Dalmatians, everything, which. Look, I think it look, I'd give a Dalmatian, I'm not sure if she actually mated with one of those fish. But if she's from PetSmart, she couldn't have because they don't have those fish. But yeah, just, think I just, it's going to be a while before I can do another update on her. But I will have an update once she gives her babies and everything. But fish, most of the time. They have their babies at night. They have their babies at night, so 
I can't do the GoPro because it, like, a time lapse of the GoPro, it doesn't have as much storage. But I definitely can film once the babies are there, and I'm gonna put them in this mat. If they're colorful, they might go back in here. If not, maybe in here. Or I can find something to do with them. But I'm not 100% sure. But just don't forget, like and subscribe, just because you'll see that soon. Soon of her giving her babies and everything. So if, so you don't want to miss that. So stay subscribed and don't forget to like and leave a comment and, and everything. And I might start doing positive comment shout outs. I, I know a lot of, a couple of other YouTubers do that. And I kind of want to incorporate that. Just, I don't know, it sounds cool. So I might do that. If you guys post it, I might share it in a video like this. I don't have one right now just because um, I'm just saying this now and no one's commented one, but go ahead, leave one of those down below. And if I see it, I'll put it in the next video. Thanks, bye.